Hello, I am Hasan Fieri Tenisher, and this is my CMP492 project presentation called Abstract Syntax Tree Mutation, an Eclipse plugin for mutation testing, which is done under supervision of Alpelshen. The motivation behind this project is software testing. Testing is the process of evaluating a system or its components with the intent to find whether it satisfies the specified requ requirements or not. It's a fact that testing is a necessity in software. However, how can we be sure that our test suite is good enough? There are a few tests. There are a few concepts that are proposed to measure usefulness, usefulness of existing test suites. One of them called code coverage. Code coverage refers to what percentage of the code is executed by the test suite. It is calculated by the fraction of number of coverage items exercised over total number of coverage items. Code coverage, as I said, is used to determine how useful the tests are. There are a few code coverage, code coverage criteria. For example, line coverage deals with the lines or statements that are executed in source code by the test suite, while branch coverage is concerning with the branches executed. Other concept is mutation testing. Mutation tests evaluates how good is the, is the set of test cases. Underlying idea behind mutation testing is making small mutations on the source code and then observing the existing test suite, recognizing tho those mutants are not. A mutant is said to be killed when the execution of, of it fails, otherwise it survives. Mutation adequacy score is the measure what is used to what is measure that is used to evaluate how good are the existing test test suite. It is calculated by, by the fraction of number of mutants killed over number of seeded non-equivalent mutants, which is smaller than or equal to one. Mutation one can guess that mutation adequacy score would be equal to one if the test suite is perfect. Here is illustration of mutation testing workflow. In this workflow, we have an original program P and test set T. We run this T on P until we ob observe no failure. In other words, tests producing green suite. If it's a green suite, we can we execute the test suite on mutant programs P prime. Otherwise, we fix the tests. If T cannot kill all P all mutant program P programs P prime P primes, we fix test suite again. Repeat this process until killing all mutants. Investigation of existing mutation testing tool is also a part of my study. Here there are five well known mutation testing tools. PIT and Java Launcher scalable with big big projects and they are successful and fast others are quite slow and not actively supported in my project the topic includes plugin development eclipse provides a plugin development environment as you see in this picture i create a tab menu at the very top of at the very top of the workbench there are 10 kinds of mutation operations options. AST is another topic that I dealt with in this topic, in this project. Eclipse A AST maps plain Java source code to a tree form. The tree below belongs to code right there. Methodology of, methodology of test consists of four steps. At the first step, we have the source code to be tested. We apply various mutation operators to the source code. Then we calculate the mutation adequacy score, then we use revise his test suites accordingly. In this project, the main goal is mutating the Eclipse AST using popular mutation operators in literature. The resulting tool runs on Eclipse a as a plugin. Here is the list of mutation operators. 
I will give a very brief definition of them. First of all, all arithmetic, relational, conditional, and logical operations are kept as infix expression nodes in AST. Absolute value insertion refers to putting a new arithmetic operations after each arithmetic operation that subtracts the result from the zero. Relational operator replacement and conditional operator replacement, logical operator replacement, shift operator replacement, and arithmetic operator replacement mutations are very similar to each other. Each of them replaces the related operators with another one. In unary operator insertion, we insert an exclamation mark before each relation operations. In unary deletion, operator deletion, deletion refers to deletion of exclamation mark before all kind of possible AST nodes including variables, method calls, or parenthesized expressions. Modify replacement is a kind of object-oriented mutation which modifies or mutates the modifier keyword of the variables, methods, or classes, for example, from public to private or private to protected, vice versa. And the experiments in this experiment section, I will give you a demo. I will show you a demo. Here we see a class that includes a relational operation here and the relational operation here. For example, we apply relational mutation on this class by clicking on this tab menu and then the relational mutation here. And as you see, the mutations are done on the related lines. Or we can try the logical mutation on the line 29. Here there is a variable which is exhort with a method and ORT with a number. Here again we apply another mutation, logical mutation, and we see that XOR and OR are replaced by, by ANDs. As we see, the program works properly. But, of course, there are room to for improvement in this project. For example, this tool makes the change on the source code but does not run the existing test suite. One should run the test suite manually. So, this is a deficiency. Also, user needs to get a copy of its original project because applied mutations change the code permanently. Also, there can be more testing for exceptional or minor bugs. Thank you for listening.